A man accused of brutally beating his wife to death had few words to say in court today, a far different reaction than right after his arrest. 38-year-old Christopher Haig was ordered held without bond during his first appearance. West 2's Claire Metz is live at the Bristol Bay Condominiums in South Daytona. And Claire, police found a bloody crime scene there yesterday. You know that, Jim. Now, Christopher Hay, who lived here with his wife for about a year, repeatedly told me yesterday as he was being let off to jail, didn't remember a thing, didn't know what happened to his wife. But today, in court, he listened to his attorney's counsel, yes or no answers only. Yes. Thank you. And you're Christopher Hay? Yes. How do you pronounce it? Hay. He swore to tell the truth and stated his name, but that's all murder suspect Christopher Haig said as the judge read the charges against him. Haig was quiet, even tearful, leaving the courtroom. A stark contrast from the man who wanted to tell us his story yesterday as he was being led away in handcuffs. We were fighting a lot because she had been having an affair on me for two years and I was drunk. I don't know what happened. That's so all you, you think you Thank beat her? I don't know what happened. I really don't. Investigators suspect Haig beat his wife Rose Marie with fists, repeatedly threw her into walls. There were holes in the walls and pieces of drywall mixed into a trail of blood. She was allegedly dragged so hard rug burns caused flesh wounds. Yet the suspect was calm and cool when he called police about 1 a.m. I think my wife is dead. While rolling a cigarette on the phone with 911, Haig told rescuers his wife must have slipped out and returned with people who attacked her, just feet from where he said he was sleeping. There's damage to my house, I'm missing money out of my wallet, and my wife's but police believe whatever was done was done by Christopher Haig, who was warned by public defender Matt Phillips to stay silent. Because of Haig's previous criminal history, including domestic violence and DUI, the judge ordered Haig be held secure. I don't find you to be a good candidate for a bail at this time, so I'm going to order that you be held on a no bond status. So no bond for Christopher Haig. Now, according to the police report, before he called 911, Haig called his mother. We expected to see her in the courtroom today. She was not there. We tried to reach out to the public defender who said he's just not familiar enough with all of the facts of the case to speak on it just now. We're live in South Daytona, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.